my fellow Americans. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, anyway, welcome back to uh, this game. Okay, Dragon Mountain. Okay, cool. Uh, don't get me wrong, this game is fun. I am enjoying it. But in terms of why we're doing anything at this point, I'm like 99% like checked out. Um, oh yeah, by the way, uh, off camera, I went ahead and uh, I fed um, uh, Zeppi, and he turned into this like watermelon toad uh, thing. And uh, at one point, uh, he wanted like a secret fruit, and I gave him a secret fruit, and then he did, it said yuck. He, I didn't get any bar from it. I was like, I thought the whole point of those, I thought those were like rare candies or something. I thought they were like, I thought it was like guaranteed uh, like bar progress or whatever. But I uh, guess not. Um, okay, so we have a couple of ways we can go. I guess we've got to just pick one. Uh, this one. Uh, okay, so that's actually good to know. That's where I need to go, uh, when I get the key. You can see the key door up there. Okay, so when I get the key, gotta remember to come all the way back to the beginning. I guess I could just, uh, warp out, right? Is there another way to go down? Okay. I didn't know if going down those stairs would take me out. Okay, where... Okay, pretty sure down there is out. Okay, I can see the chest there. All right, let's go this way. Oh, uh, okay, this is one way apparently. All right, fine. But uh, yeah, I fed I fed um, the monsters like a whole bunch of stuff, or that one. I only fed that one, and uh, once I had sold everything, I went to the store, and I didn't have enough money to buy all the stuff I wanted. So I was like, oh, let me sell some stuff. And then I was like, wait a sec, I should have fed the cheap stuff and kept the expensive stuff to sell. So, uh, I went through and everything that was like, everything that was like more than like 5,000 I sold. So, at this point, like, I've been selling, like, I haven't hardly sold like anything for the rest, th for like the entire game, right? I think, right? Oh, I, I remember, I remember this, but I don't remember how to solve it or anything. Oh, hmm. Huh. Okay, not sure how to open this door. Let's just go this way first. Maybe maybe there's like a tool or something in this cave and I just don't have it yet. Uh, okay, don't have to fight the big uh, dragon dude. Um, okay, so if I get the... Do I have to get the enemies to stand on this thing to drop it? Drop up elevator. Required weight of one ton. So, do I have to get the big guy to somehow step on it? It looks like uh, that pink dragon dude. Looks like a like a dragon sprite from like a Dragon Quest game, like one of the uh, like 16-bit ones or whatever. Okay, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Let's just go this way though. They're not uh, they're not going where I want them to go. Okay, well I guess we can cross uh, this for now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Behemoth. Why does he look uh, more scared of me? Oh yeah, I forgot to heal. Um, by the way, when I was at the town, but oh well. I have full magic, so we have heals. Okay, let's see if uh, Zeppi's any good. Frog kick, 2 and 9. Not bad, not bad. So I didn't uh, fully utilize... Like, I, you know, I guess I already said it. I didn't, like, I... At this point, I had no idea what was going to be expensive and what was not expensive. So I was just, like, feeding stuff willy-nilly. It would be, like, Blaze Sword. I'm like, okay, well, I don't know if that's worth 6,000 or 16,000. So, like, every piece of, like, armor... Oh, I can jump down. It's, like, all the armor and helmets and stuff. I had no idea what I should have kept and sold. Oh, okay, so I just, do I just have to do it a couple of times? This appears to be, like, raised up a little bit now. Huh, how did I get this to raise up, I wonder? I jumped down, and then it raised up, and then I jumped down a second time, and it didn't raise up again. Why isn't this guy moving? Oh, just come on, dude! Ugh. Alright, whatever. Let's do a uh, heal on everybody. 
But uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Uh, Zeppi's uh, bar is almost full again. So uh, we'll see what he turns into. I know I didn't show my reaction, but my reaction was, I don't know. I've said this before, but I'm not really big into like, I'm not a big reaction guy normally. So basically my reaction was, oh, look at that. All right, cool. Okay, there you go. I don't know. Sometimes people like to see the reaction of the of the Let's Player when like new things happen, you know. But basically, when he transformed, I was like, "Oh, okay, watermelon toad. Why not?" All right, get him. Uh, I did buy. Um, I'm trying to think. I bought, uh, I'm pretty sure I bought everyone's weapon. Uh, some of the weapons were like 40,000. So uh, that's why I ended up not having enough money. I didn't buy all the uh, armor. Only, um, uh, I only bought uh, armor for Salan. I think it gave her 10. Everyone else was just a couple of points of defense, so I felt like it wasn't worth it. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, I bought him uh, the Great Axe. Uh... Oh, I bought, uh, yeah, see, the, the, uh, the Aeron dress. Uh, heals user of all damage. I mean, we've gotten to the point where it's like, well, I can just use a heal spell, so, like, who cares? And I have plenty of MP, so what's the point of that? Why is it called the Aeron dress? It's a relative of, uh, oops, relative of, uh, Errol. Uh, like that one song. Uh, how has it go? Now, Errol's a smart boy who live in big weed. Says he can get you all that you may ever need. He got careless and filled his face with greed. 20 pounds past the limit, 20 miles over the speed. So, it's a Let's Play Pool uh, in the, I forget the name of the album. But, uh, what's this guy, Green Dragon? Why does he uh, have his uh, claws all all stretched out? Looks like a, looks like a, uh, like a bird, uh, like a bird footprint or whatever, or bird. I don't want to say paw. What are bird? What are bird hands called? <laughs> or bird legs called? I mean, jeez. But to, yeah, uh, Les Claypool. He uses this like. He uses these like goofy microphones to like, uh, give his voice like weird effects, and he'll do a whole song. With this weird ass microphone. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about microphone sounds. But it makes your like your voice like sound like different or whatever. So it, it can, when you do it with the whole song, you can like add like a different sort of flavor or feel uh, to a song by having your voice have a certain effect to it and having it that way for the whole song, you know? Okay, will you please stop? I don't want to have to heal in battle. I'm going to have to though, I suppose. Hi, Hedora. Yay, yeah, man. I'll let you make your own joke. Actually... Uh, speaking of which, yeah, freaking, uh, the other day at work, uh, somebody, a forklift driver, like, dropped a load, like, uh, like, just a couple feet from me, uh, well, I mean, it was, like, ten feet away, but it was still semi-close, and, um, we have these, like, industrial, I don't know, they're, like, plastic, but they're, like, industrial crates or something like that, but they're, like, they're still heavy, but they're, like, thick and plastic, so, I don't know. I guess maybe they determined that they're, like, cheaper than wood or something. They're probably more durable than wood, I'm guessing. But lighter than metal. What the frick am I supposed to do here? And we have these things called, uh, spacers that I use on my station. And they're about the size of a loaf of bread. We have ones that are, like, twice the size. Uh, we have 5-inch and 10-inch ones, so the... So the 10-inch ones are, like, two stacked on top of each other. I almost want to see what those guys do. Boy, how am I already stuck? Isn't there... Was there no other way I could go? Was, was there another way I could go? If I go back outside? I don't... Remember. Yeah, because I already went into the... Uh, I already went in here, didn't I? Yeah, this is the one-way path. But uh, I had my back turned at the time, and all of a sudden I just hear the sound... You know, there's that, like, unmistakable sound. You're just like, okay, I know something just got tipped over near me or whatever. I look back, one of the crates is, like, one of the crates is, like, sideways. And another crate's, like, tipped, like, 45 degrees. 
And what sucks is that, like, one of the reasons I don't want to be a forklift driver is that, like, if you dump a load or whatever, depending on... I don't know how they do it, but I'm guessing that under certain circumstances, you could get, like, immediately drug tested. <laughs> and it's like, I could pass a drug test now, but that's not always going to be the case, you know? And it's so stupid. Like, I don't want to be fired for a joint that I smoked two years... or two weeks ago, you know? But they're like, nope, it's in your system. Therefore, therefore you were high at the moment you, uh... You drop the thing, you were high at work. But not really, you know. Um. Am I miss what am I overlooking? I should be able to I can do that. That's not useful either. But uh, I'd walked over because, I don't know, I, I feel bad for the guy. Like, I was trying to, like, I didn't want him to, like, get, like, in trouble. So, like, I walked over and I was going to start, like, picking him up so I could get the thing tilted back or whatever. But as soon as I start walking towards it, uh, the supervisor and the line lead are already walking towards me. <laughs> and they kind of wave me off. They're like, step away from it, step away from it. Because one of the things was tilted at 45 degrees. I guess technically it was dangerous, but I was, I wasn't, I mean, they're kind of heavy, but, but it's not like the thing would have crushed me if it would have tilt, tipped over on me, you know? It's like three feet off the ground, so worst case scenario would have scraped my shins or something, you know? Like, if it would have tipped over when I was standing next to it, it wouldn't have, like, knocked me down. Like, I would have just pushed back on it or whatever. But I was like, alright, alright, whatever, whatever. Um, okay, I guess we're fighting these guys. Why, why is the sprite pink? But yeah, quality guy had to come over to uh, assess the damage and see if any of them were damaged. I'm pretty sure all of them were deemed to be okay. Because we, we have a separate container that you put all like the bad ones in. And there were not a large number of, like, there weren't any bad ones. Well, all the bad ones were, like, black. We have black and silver ones. And he d the ones he dumped over were silver. And then when I went back, and then after everything, ever, after everyone had left, I looked and there weren't any silver ones in the bad, the bad thing or whatever. Oh, why did I talk about that? Oh, it's because, uh, because of the high, uh, the high, I almost said fedora. High, oh geez, what were those guys called? <laughs> I don't remember. This this uh, place sucks, by the way. What does drop up elevator mean, dude? You gotta like use like better words so I know what I'm t what you're talking about. I know my words aren't always perfect, but unlike President Trump, who has the best words. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, now it worked. Oh, so it moved a little bit with my weight, but I needed that dude's all, all like all of that dude's weight to to raise it or whatever or whatever. Oh, you know what? While I was doing the terrible Trump impression in the other episode, I forgot to say fake news. Fake news is fake news. Wrong, wrong. The fake news network is fake news. Uh, oh, is this gonna take me right? Aw, oh, boo! I thought it was gonna take me to where I could uh, grab the treasure. Where the hell is this, by the way? What's up with that, uh, that like flower square or whatever? What's the point of this whole area? There's nothing here! Alright, fine, let's go back. Oh, I gotta go into this freaking room. I don't wanna go in here, man. This room sucks. It would be nice if there was an... Oh, come on. Oh, back attack, too. Okay, it didn't count for some reason. Uh, Magma Gorum? Oh, frick, I should have healed. I don't think anybody has, like, a... an ice weapon. Oh, man. Tommy and Guy are dishing out the damage, man. Yeah, even though the weapons are getting more expensive, it's also nice that the, um... the, uh... the, uh, increases are... Pretty large too. All right, these guys are actually not that dangerous. 
so I should be good to heal after the fight. Man, it's not really that good of exp good good of an amount of experience. You know what I mean, right? Uh. Okay, shoot. Um. Uh, okay. Where was that uh, treasure? I guess yeah, I can't see it from here. Well, I guess uh, we'll get it eventually. What the hell is this? It's got to be something with this, right? I like bomb this square. It's like a unique, like floor, like floor tile. Yeah, I guess not. I don't know. Oh, and this is uh, one way too, ain't it? I can't, uh, can't go back. Maybe I could jump down. I'm not gonna test it. Well, there, I don't see any arrows on the uh, on the edge of the ledge or whatever, so maybe you can't go back. I guess I could warp out if I really, really wanted to. My God. Oh wait, there, there's a crack right now. Yeah, I was about to say, let's uh, not go. Let's go this way first, just in case. Uh, since uh, since this other path. In case I can't get back. I'm pretty sure this is just the way to get back, actually. Oh, come on. Of course, it's going to make me do the fight first. Uh, Brokeon? Brokeon? That'd be nice if I could one-round him. Or one-cycle him. No! Alright, cool. Okay, well, this is cool, and I guess it does damage to all enemies, I'm guessing. But it takes a while to, uh, to cast, but all right, whatever. Let's see if I can uh, get dudes. Uh... Oh man, it's got a lot of HP. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Eh. Oh lame. I got it. It's, it's gonna make me do all of them. No. All right, fine. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw the same guy. Uh... Uh, like still working so whatever happened he either passed the drug test or they didn't drug test him it wouldn't surprise me if they're like if there's no actual damage we don't drug test you but if you cause like tons of damage then we drug test you <laughs> yeah no freaking way man there's no way i could ever do that man oh geez it's just like it's just like too much pressure where it's like if you work at like taco bell if you like f up something, then a customer gets like lettuce on their taco. They didn't want lettuce. It's like who cares, you know? If you're a forklift driver and you f up, then uh, you make loud sounds, and then everyone, everyone within 500 feet, hears it, and then everyone like wants to see what happened, you know? And then you're just like at the center, standing there with your dick in your hand, be like, hey, did I do that? Is it gonna make, is, okay, I was about to say, is it going to make me do all three? But uh, it did not. Hmm. Maybe maybe when I use the magma key and we come out, maybe that's where that teleporter will take me back out from. Jeez. Uh, was it, it was here, right? Did I ever fight... Oh yeah, I think I did fight those guys. There weren't anything special. Oh yay. Oh, we got a uh, hammer time. Is that a translation uh, thing? Why is it called hammer? I have to have, I have to have, I had to have asked that at some point before, right? Uh, uh oh. Oh man, I effed it up. I think I effed up. All right, it's reset. I should have hammered it, it, it uh, this one. Uh, should I hammer it one? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I need to hammer it one more time, but I'll do it if I need to. Hmm, this must be the way to get back. Since I can't do anything with this one in the upper right corner. Uh, okay, so... Go like this, and hit this one. 
switch, go like this, up here. Hmm. Okay, so do I go up there or do I go to the staircase? Let's try this way. Hey, sweet, look at that. Uh, magic scale, apparently it's armor according to the sprite on screen. S pro ring. Right. Um. Wait, what did I just get? Oh, magic scale. Hmm. Let's give it to uh, Tommy. He's got uh, lower defense, and he's a he's a front front line fighter. What else? Uh, ring or whatever. I didn't get rid of. I think I got rid of a couple of, uh, if I had, like, multiples of rings or rocks. I didn't know which was, like, a good... I didn't know which, uh, rings and rocks were, like, good. Increased defense by a large mod during battle. Greatly increases DFP dash space space S space space stands for super. Okay. Super pro ring. Alright, cool. Okay, so lose, uh, 10 attack. Oh man, look at that agility drop. Oh, it's just because the rocket ring gives you lots of agility. So I'm not losing it. I'm just not gaining the uh, effect from the other one. Um. I do like her having agility. I'm assuming that affects turn order, right? It's like 30 for 10. Uh, I guess that's worth it. Sure, why not? Okay, so we got a, oops. So we gotta hammer this now. And then... Hammer this, because I have to. There's like no other choice at this point. And then... Uh, yeah, 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 Alright, cool. I guess you just gotta... I, I think you just gotta go through this room twice, I suppose. If you get the treasures the first time. Okay. And then, oh, I have to get to the upper right one and then hammer this down. Uh, hammer this one down. Did I, was I able to do that last time? Oh wait, I have to hammer, okay, sneaky sneaky, I gotta hammer this one up. I have to hammer it up. Oh man, I almost effed that up. And then hammer it sideways. And then hook to it. See, now I can actually push this one down. If, yeah, if I would've done that, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Okay, now hook and hook, all right. Wow. Would it be funny if that sign's like, look out behind you or something? <laughs> Oh man, not the magma fist. That's gotta hurt. You ever watch fisting porn? I don't. I don't understand the appeal of it. I don't get it. I mean, I've said this before, but like, everybody watches porn that other people don't like, or they don't understand why anyone would like it. You know? But that one, like, I actually don't get. Be like, oh, look at that. This person's vagina can hold the equivalent of, like, ten dicks simultaneously. The only reason they can't actually hold ten dicks simultaneously is because there's not enough space for ten men to fit around her, you know? But, I mean, by the time you do a fist, I mean, it's at least several dicks, right? Well, maybe not ten, but still too many where there's not enough room for every, every dude's body to fit around her. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't get, like, okay, you did it. You put the fist in. Congratulations, now what? I just, I just don't see how you'd be like, oh my god, the fist is in, and then you just bust a nut. Like, oh, it's so hot, man. Like, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, use fire arrows to burn grass so it doesn't grow back. I call shenanigans. You saw me use the fire arrows, and that shit totally grew back. Let's just do a big heal. I don't care. 
Oh, this, okay, this kind of grass. All right, fine. What the frick? Uh, that's a little bit creepy. Huh. So every time you take action, it grows. Why does it grow into like this creepy freaking, um, one of those like pod flower thing or the, those like pot of jams or whatever. What am I supposed to do? Well, I don't remember this room at all. I guess most of the stuff I don't remember. Oh, lame, what the? Do I just have to survive? For a certain amount of time or something? Oh, come on. What the frick is that? What kind of goofy ass glitch is that? That's weird. Dude, F you. How the frick are you supposed to do this? Let me hit reset and see if that makes me not glitch anymore. No, you still glitch. It's weird. Oh, even swinging the sword makes you glitch. That's silly. Oh, and it counts as a step, too, of course. Really? 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 one starts growing on the right side and you're on the left side, you're gonna be cut it close. Dude, come on! There's like no- there was like no way to do that! Why's my guy holding his hands in front of him? Let me like leave the room. Dude- oh, oh my god. Get out of here, dude. I already killed all y'all. I'm back to normal now. Yeah, dude was like holding his hands out in front of him like he was pushing something. It was very strange. Yeah, okay, we're back to normal now. Cool. All right, back to the world's funnest puzzle. Oh man, so fun. This makes my dick harder than fisting porn. Wow. This appears to be random. It's just a matter of, because it's random, like look at that, there's, okay, shoot. Well, but then by the time I went and got that one, this one grew. And even shooting an arrow counts as a step. So I feel like uh, this might just be luck. Because if I would've shot that other one, then the other one would've grown. Wow, this is BS, man. I don't like this puzzle, man. Now, if I take a step up, yeah. What the hell was that? Yeah, okay, one thing that I noticed is that when you walk, when you like change directions with the direction pad, it makes, it makes the thing grow. If you hold the trigger button, or the L and R or whatever, and then move, then it doesn't. But like if I, if I, 
they if I turn left it gr it grows but if I hold the uh, L and R and then uh, press the direction change or whatever then it doesn't so I have to do that like I got to make sure to do that like every time Dude, come on. That was a pretty good attempt, too. All right, we're getting we're getting up there on time. I'll give it a few more shots. If I can't get it, then I'll we'll start the next episode with showing the successful uh, attempt. I feel like some of this is luck. Be because of the randomness, it makes it seem like there's luck involved. You just got to you just got to uh get lucky and have the right ones grow like right there there's like no way I could have done that I was just double checking to make sure you can't walk over the grass even though I already knew that reaching the point of desperation where you like try things that you know you already tried you know Dude, can I just go through there? I just want to walk through the thing, man. Like, what is this? What does this like grass have to do with, like, me walking past the the horse head statues or whatever? Or what even are those? Like, like there's like no way to get this one. Take a step. Take a step, take a step, and it grows. And now I can't get I can't get that one in time. You know what I just realized? I should just stand in one. I should just stand um, and just go up and down, uh, like on one line, instead of like walking like in like around this one or whatever. I still, dude, that's bullshit, dude. If you go for the bottom one while the top one's growing, there's like no way to get to both of them in time. You really just have to get lucky. Can't get to that one. Wow. Okay. We'll start the next one with showing the successful attempt. Yeah, this puzzle sucks, man. I hate it, man. I don't like it, man. It's not cool, man. This is not a cool puzzle, man. I mean, some of the puzzles I get stuck on, and I'm not like. And at least it's cool because it's like fair. This is like. This doesn't feel fair at all. Um, okay, so anyway, we'll do that next time. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.